guys okay so we're back so what are today's escapades if that's my word to use we're in Adak okay here we are you can see us outside here I'll give you the name in a few moments okay located in Adak we're on camera road this road leads straight into Adak Adak is inbound so we've come let's say from camera you come along this road it's approximately half a mile to the left of this road and we're here it's, cla it's called Madeira which means my yard my crib however you want to interpret it and we're here so we thought we'd come along show you, show you what it looks like and tell you how the food tastes Mashallah, looks nice, it's clean, hopefully the food will impress. Now I believe they do like lots of different food. Now the reason why I stumbled there for a second, I just saw the garlic bread. Now with me and garlic bread, uh, I think that cracked it for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try their garlic bread. Now in terms of uh, costs, so what they do, they have a, a platter you can uh, order uh, and they do outdoor catering so I think what I might need to do is actually uh, have a gig and uh, yeah why not man so here they are they've got some uh, student deals I assume so here we are we've got like a sign here telling us what food they're doing and at the bottom it tells you what they're offering one slice of pizza, loaded fries, two chicken nuggets, garlic bread, peri peri drip, dip, drip. I'm thinking about clothing, man. I've just come out of a clothing shop. And it looks clean. Now, you know the most important thing when you're ordering some, when you're buying food in Pakistan, don't go to a place where there's no people. Bro, honest to God, just trust me. Don't go to anywhere where there's no people. We've just come from that place there. You see that little silver car that's reversing there? What we did was we come out of there. Now we're going to try that food. We've been told loaded ain't too bad. But personally, if you ask me, a little bit of perhaps a little waterfall here kind of touch it up, looks nice. However, inshallah, we're going to go inside now and we're going to check out their food. And uh, yes, boss. <laughs> Have you got the keys to the car? Boss, somebody nicks it. Uh, can, you, can you lock the doors for me, please? Have you locked them? Right, okay, so, now I'm assuming this little ramp here is for disabled access. I'm not sure, but I'm 99% sure-ish that this is disabled access. And if it is, mashallah, good on them. Uh, I think it's a lovely idea. I love that. So here we are, we've got our little place where we walk in. They've got some fans, I've never seen them before. I think they're rather lovely, them and it looks clean they've got a guard over there so mashallah it looks clean they've got a little place over there so we're going to walk into the I'm going to walk in got it there Shamkana? mashallah the the pukhta no there oh yeah Saida Assalamu alaikum bro yes I'm biased yes mashallah I like my own people so uh, I try and visit uh, Patans pukhta and they make the best food genuinely do so here's your little play area so if you're going to play with your children or if you want to have a slide, you're welcome to. And mashallah, it's clean. And it's uh, the garden, I'm assuming, is where we pray. The little place where we can pray. And they've got a little place here, the jungle. So I like the little theme, perhaps a little bit more, perhaps pictures of animals, etc. But it's clean, mashallah, and that's the most important thing. I like the idea, I think this is good, but I think they need a little bit more implementation of perhaps an Arabic theme over here, so maybe some plastic or some wood, something um, Saudi related. They've got that, I mean, they've got these themes over here, so they've got a jungle there, so perhaps a little bit more sort of, what's that word to use, um, oriented. 
Honest to God, I thought that was a bottle of JD's there. It's Windeline. But honest to God, I thought that was a bottle of JD's. Astaghfirullah. And then they've got this little here, Majlis. So this is where you'd sit here and you'd break out your tunes. And then this over here is where your kiddies little area, so you've got your little rides. So if you're bringing your children here, it's a little play area. Oh, and they're working properly, mashallah. That's the princess. So yeah, mashallah, it looks really good. So they've got security here, which is brilliant. And they've got a, a lovely indoor area. So I'm assuming that's air conditioned. And mashallah, they've got a lovely daughter there, a, little, a, little, a lovely niece there serving people. And they've got a family in there uh, having their meal. It's well kept, it's clean, mashallah. And uh, it's a miracle, but it's good. It's good in Pakistan, mashallah. You know, you get what you pay for. So I'm assuming this will be slightly out of people's budget, uh, but then you cater for people in their own or for their own. So you've got this little bit here, and you've got this is where your entrance is. So I'm going to wait for the system to move to the side, then I'll show you what it looks like once the system moves to the side. Anyway, while they're doing that, I'll walk around. I'll show you what it looks like around this side. So mashallah, they're very pleasant and. Uh, they're nice, yeah. Lovely people, mashallah. And then you've got your cooking on this side. You're cooking fresh. Don't go anywhere where you can't see what they cook. So it's important that wherever you're going, you make sure the food is clean. And here you can see the preparation. I'm going to eat my words in a couple of seconds. I know I am. But mashallah, the food preparation, I'm hoping is clean. And it is on, that, on this side. So you can see here, you've got your barbecue uh, seek kebabs. There they are, nice and clean and you can see there they're being prepped over here mashallah two lads working over here now one thing guys i'm going to tell you about pakistan yeah you know if you're worried about flies bro then you've come to the wrong country okay it's something that pakistan has to deal with so over here you see it's unfortunate it's everywhere you go you can't avoid it but mashallah the food quality hopefully inshallah should be good and then over here we've got where they prep the meat so you've got your kitchen over here where they prep and then over there is where it's cooked i'm going to give him a couple of words of ayub wisdom uh, i'm going to give him that later on but i'll be doing it in a few moments so uh, there is something that they could do and uh, i'll discuss that with him so hopefully inshallah uh, positive reviews are fine and this is the meat the fresh meat that goes in then hopefully inshallah uh, we'll be having it now when you order meat when you order food in pakistan it's done by the way so obviously you'd look on there i mean you're not going to do that you'd order let's say half a kilo kilo and what they'll do they'll tell you how much food per person you'll need so let's say for example you bring in two people four people six people ten people whatever they'll tell you how much food per person you'll need so you say look there's a group of four of us they'll say look you'll need maybe one kilo two kilo whatever and hopefully inshallah that should be suffice for you guys then they've got their office over there, which I'm assuming is their office. They've got a microwave in there. And that's your praying area over there. These brothers are sat here, so either they own it or they just sat here. But no, it looks good. So far, so good. I'm impressed. I'm going to go inside now and see what we've got inside. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. But it's clean. So first sort of review of this place, mashallah, is uh, it's fine. I can't see any, any reason to have a go. I think it's clean, I think it's well presented and I think it's very clearly there but I love the little huts that they've got and what we're going to do now inshallah uh, we're going to go inside and uh, we're going to get our grub so it's up to the princess what she orders the world is an oyster and we'll see in a few moments so guys we'll catch up with you in a couple of seconds or I can be lazy and just leave it running I love this, I think this is lovely Swing the door, close the door, from. air conditioning's on. So the air conditioning's on, so if, you, if you're lardy like me, then obviously it's, it's nice, it's cool, and it's presentable, but it's clean, most importantly it's clean. Where are you going to sit? Should we sit over there or sit over here? Let's see. Doesn't matter where we sit. Let's sit over there. Let's sit over there. There's some of these handbags over there. Let's just sit over there. Let's sit over there. Gigi. Can I sit over here? I'll edit it later on, don't worry. No, there, there. Over there. So here we are, it's a lovely little flower. 
So we're in an area where we're inside, it's air conditioned, so it's clean, it's cool. In terms of temperature, it's about, about 21, 22 inside here. Mm -hmm. So it's reasonable, it's very reasonable. You're not going to sweat all over your food. And uh, do you know one of my pet peeves is that I never eat with knife and forks. Uh, I eat with my hands. Bro, I just find it, uh, uh, what's that word to use? Um, uh, awkward. Also, I eat with my right hand, so if I'm going to use a fork in my right hand, I'm going to look like a plonk around. So. Anyway, never mind me. But ultimately, the place is clean, and that's, for me, that's a, that's a positive, that's a plus. You have to have a clean place. I think I'm going to buy one of them. I stick that in my car when I'm teaching. What's that? Yeah, I'm not going to follow you, don't worry. No, no, I'm not going to follow you. And then uh, we've got a young lady there. I'll avoid her. I'll edit her out of the picture. I'll make sure she's not in there. I think this is better. I think this is more quiet. I actually like this place. Then here we are. We've got your clean. Michelle, it's lovely and clean. I think this is where I would sit. It's a bit like sitting in... If you ever went to niche, and if you ever went clubbing, you guys, and you ever went to niche, you'd go to the far corner and this is what it feels like it's dark in here and I think this is brilliant air conditioning is set at 16 but it feels more like about 20 in here but it's fine mashallah you know it's good it's good then you've got knife and forks for everyone so what I've done now is I've just turned on the the light just to make sure it's sufficient and I can edit it later on anyway in terms of uh, place I think it's fine I don't see a reason why uh, you wouldn't dine here now, I think it's a little early. I think the time now is, if you can see there, it's seven o'clock. So this is a time where people usually start coming and start uh, having their food. You've got your toilets, uh, one on either side. So you've got your gents on this side and you've got your ladies on the opposite side. So what I might ask the princess to do is to come over here and have a meal over here. I think it's rather quiet over here. It's a bit better. Uh, the menu's here. So that's your fast food menu. And that's his sweet corner. And that's your chicken. And that's your side dishes. And now guys, if you've never had this, if you've never had that, you've never had a proper meal. Then we've got Garay over here. I think I've just gone through that menu. Your sweet dishes. See, I think they've got two, two parts to a menu. And in terms of uh, food quality, I'll be telling you in a few moments once I find out where the dragon's gone. There she is. Uh, and then what we'll do, do you want to sit over here? Do you want to sit over there? It's better, it? it's a bit more quiet. I like that place. Unless you're going to sit here and end up looking like a Christmas tree. You see, you happy? Right, guys. Okay, so what's going to happen now? We're going to order our meal, and then hopefully, inshallah, I will show you once we've got the meal set up what the meal's like. So we'll review it out of ten. Uh, ten being uh, cooked by uh, the missus, and uh, the rest is arguable. So we'll tell you in a few moments once we've ordered, once we decide what we're having. So what we might do today is I have um, uh, perhaps some sort of pizza or whatever. So we'll, we'll try that hopefully inshallah now. Uh, we'll go for what we call UK junk food. So what we are going to do, we're going to go for junk food today. Then perhaps midweek we'll come back in again and then we'll go for some sort of Asian curry. Yeah? So, you can it. so today we'll order some junk food. Mm -hmm. Put on the calories, next time. get fat. And then hopefully inshallah in the next one we'll order um, yes. uh, we'll order a curry then, yeah? So here is the pizza and stuff. Oh, look. Right guys, so you can decide on what you want. Prices are reasonable, They're not too bad. Uh, I'm just worried about the pizza because what I don't want is uh, it's just like chapati, if that makes sense. I had it once before, so I went for the pizza somewhere and I ended up getting a, uh, it was like a hard dough. They do smashed beef burgers. Funny thing is, you know, in terms of when you're going for food over here, mineral water, blah, 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 
and it just makes sure that you go easy on your beef and easy on your your buffalo meat while you're here. The reason for that is your body has to adapt and adjust. Uh, in terms of water, um, most of the time it's mineral water, uh, filtered water, it's not mineral water anyway, it's filtered. So, what we have here? Well, you decide, Lawrence. Show me the... The world is your oyster. Okay, give me a... Uh, yeah. The water's cold. You want pizza or you want burger? I'm not bothered, whatever you say. It's up to you. Very, very good chicken burgers. Do you, do you want to go for a burger and, and a or, pizza? Or a pizza. And a pizza. Yeah. Go for a small pizza and go for a burger each. Oh, right. Then what we don't eat, we'll give to somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, we will order peri peri grilled chicken burger. Go for that because then you can reference it with what we have over there. Yeah. Yeah, you can benchmark it, can't you? Yeah, of this and pizza. Mm. You want meat, cheese, lamb special, pizza. Which Just one make one? sure there's no beef on it though. So, meat, pizza is okay, I think. Just make sure that uh, there's no beef or mm -hmm. buffalo meat. You'll ask her. Ask her. Excuse me. She's over there. Betty. She's over there. She's behind the back. Your meat is your pizza and it's given for care. Topping here, I'll test me. Thanks for me. My Urdu is shit, by the way, guys. I can't remember. Buffalo meat is only open. No. I said, chicken best. Chicken best. Chicken best. 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 That's fine, we'll go with what we okay, recommended. So, yeah, uh, so the niece over here yes, has recommended uh, the King Kong Burger is the best or smash the I don't like it too spicy. Yeah, guys, yeah, no, not very spicy. So, yeah, well, it's up to best. In Yes. Go for a piece and go for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But make sure the piece is not very big. That's it. It's up to it. Yeah. Right, people of uh, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook. Dun, dun, dun. No, yes, it's me. So I'm back, uh, and this time tasting food. Mm. And uh, take my glass off, I can see now. Right, okay, so. Um, Should have gone for a garlic, uh, garlic bread, you know. They do margarita. Margarita. She said that's the best one they make. Which one? The chicken fajita one, she said. Where's that? It's in the list. Where? Yeah. Look at the list. Where? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, yeah. She said this Yeah, but, uh, oh, yeah, it's fine. It's 12 inches, fine. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, guys, so we've ordered. So we've ordered that. I'm covering it a little bit, let the little nieces go past. Yeah. Over here, guys, trying to avoid filming people's families. Mm -hmm. I've ordered that. What burger have you ordered me? Uh, the King Kong one. She said this is the best one. King Kong burger. Oh, yeah, and uh, King Kong, yeah. Do you know what I mean? What they're trying to say, that I'm big or something. Do you know? Uh, Does it come with fries? Maybe. Have yes. you asked her? Does it come with fries? Yeah, she said. And she said it comes with yes. fries. You sure? I'll ask her when she You haven't asked after, have you? Have you? No, no, no. I know you haven't asked her. I'll ask her. You need to. We'll give her a shout then. Should have asked her then. The girl is there. Um, we'll call her then. She'll be back. So we're inside and the reason why we're eating inside is it's quiet and also 
I don't get chewed up by mosquitoes, bro. Do you know what I mean? Over here, mosquitoes have a lucky radar. Ask the guy, he knows everything. He's taking orders. But yeah, the Khadasha. what about um, yeah, sweet, so uh, yeah, well, what, they got a look in there? Yeah, so the sweet dishes they got stuff. Yeah. Yeah, sweet corn of the year. Right guys, for my stoners. Um, what have we got here guys? So we've got some chocolate custard cake pudding. Stay cake. Yeah. Uh, and we've got uh, that nutty cake with custard. Yeah, we'll t I will just try that. Yeah. Two from there. No, I ain't even finished yet. Yeah. No, no, this is my bit, man. This is my bit. And then we've got um, we've got vanilla cake with custard. Everything with bloody custard, isn't it? Mm, um, it's nice with the custard. And then you've got gulab jamun with ice cream. Mm, that's famous. In, uh, well, what's his name? Uh, the, um, Mr. Cheese. No, no, no. Ice cream, man. The weed, Mr. Review. No, the other guy is selling it. No, I don't remember his name. Yeah, yeah, the ice cream, man, him. I mm. think this is where he's got it from. Okay. I think he must have got it from him. Bought it in, bought in, yeah, in the UK. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He bought it from mm. over here, I don't know. Um, I forgot his name now. And then you got Faluda, which is normal, which anyone can make. Then you've got his rubbery. What's this? This is a rubric, yeah, rubric here. Yeah, 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 with, with jalebi. And then you've got rubric. Yeah. Rubric. Yeah, with cheese. No, no, it's okay, I don't want rubric. Rubric is nice, it's a rubric mean. Uh, no, it's okay, it's no, cream. it's alright, I don't want it, no. I'm gonna go with chocolate custard cake pudding. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You wanna go for your rubric thing, you can go. Yeah, for show that. me, so I'll have a should be on that menu as well. Yeah, it's still there. Well, it's getting warmer. It's a different thing. It's getting warmer and getting excited. We're not over. No, it's only ice cream in here. Vanilla flavor. Um, what about the, the sweet stuff? You know, right now. We'll get it ordered now. Yeah, okay. Give me my chocolate custard with, with cake pudding. And what else? Uh, you have in this okay. rubbery with cheese. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 rubbery. Right, you know, in something called rubbery, you get a bit of rubbery. Yeah, yeah, Well, that's great. Right guys, so half of the menu is missing. So that's put, that's put a dampener on my ego now. That's kind of... Your chocolate cake. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I was, I, I was getting a little excited there. I thought we were going to have a bit of chocolate there. Uh, looks like how you're going to have to knock up his own now. Guy, what do you think of my beard, man? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so uh, anyway, going back to what we are discussing. So, in terms of location, it's quite easy to find. Uh, come up from wherever you're coming up from, you'll get to the roundabout. If you're coming up from GT Road from uh, Adisha or from Peshawar sort of area, then you turn right on the roundabout, second exit, and this is on your left. If you're coming up from Kamra, then you're at the roundabout, you'll take the first exit left, and it's on your left. 
सो इधर आप यहाँ पर गच्चे और निकल गया कहीं कोट कहीं हम ना सही है सही है कर दूँ फरूत उस प्रकार के जब्बी आ रहा है नहीं नहीं बेअफर के रहा है सही जी 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 uh, is to what they speak. The official language is Urdu, and half the people can't speak it, to be fair. Uh, most of it is uh, Hinko, and I can't speak that to save my life. Is that right, boss? Yeah. yeah. Right, so we're waiting for food now. So, uh, in terms of time, let's do a time check, yeah? So, we ordered the food about five past seven, didn't we, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yesterday, we went to Noshera, and we had some food there. The food was delivered in six minutes. Yeah? Yeah. That was rapid. That food was rapid. Within six minutes, that food was on our, on, on our table. Yeah, the only really thing is, it was yeah. slightly cold. So, do you know, in terms of rating that, out uh, of uh, 10, that was about 8. Uh, the food quality was phenomenal. It's just it was cold, and because it was cold, you couldn't really taste it. Couldn't, uh, once you warmed up the chicken, it was perfect. I think what he did, he bought some new chicken in, so it was fine. But over here, what we've got is, uh, I think they make it to order, but there's a couple of things they could do to make it a bit better. And I think what I'll do is, I'll drop a couple of comments comments to the guys it's important that they see them especially their so do you know their, their appearance you need to eat a couple of things other than that it's fine so over here what we've got is our knife and forks and you can see that mashallah they're all clean they've been wiped down and they're clean so they're not you know sat here from somebody else sort of thing and, and you know uh, in terms of uh, just bend it down so you can see what we're doing so it's not, you know, the clean. So it's not that mucky stuff that you see in some restaurants. Um, so sure like it's fine. And this is one of my bed bugs, you know. Uh, I think that's the right word to use. There's that, and also um, sometimes these are sharp, especially in Pakistan. You know, like when you touch these spoons, sometimes they're sharp. And this is fine, Mashallah. Sure. The reason I'm saying that once I cut my tongue on uh, a spoon, shockingly, so now I'm a little scared. You know, Marshall, everything's clean. The plates are clean. So in terms of a hygiene rating, if I was going to rate this place, uh, I'd, I'd give it a, a five. I'd give it a, um, a three. You can see they've even got their own emblems on their plates. Now you'll see when they drop the food off. So I haven't turned the video off from the very beginning, so it's still running. They serve chicken, makhani, kadai, well, next time we come for Yeah. I think we'll just come here. Yeah. It's clean and there's not many people here. Yeah. Right guys, so in terms of where we are, so now it's gone a bit darker outside. So it looks a bit not a bit more pleasant, a bit easier in the eyes. Looks a bit nicer. Uh, and I'm impressed with it so far. So I've got no qualms at the moment, no complaints. I think actually the food's good. I think it's a new place at the moment, so in terms of um, uh, how busy it is give this maybe about three months and I think it'll change I think they'll get a lot more busier I think at the moment they're just being exposed on uh, TikTok and, and, and you know these small not small on these fast social media outlets so I think you know the people are seeing it there and people are coming over because it's a new place I think Marshall I think it's good I think you know they're, they're getting there I think you know these little huts that they've made outside the theme they, they, they've called them whatever but they're not actually themed so there's nothing inside there to suggest that they're one's a deer and one's a modulus and you know there's nothing to suggest that even if there were pictures of the signs it looked nice but I think actually it's a good start and in terms of where we are we're up opposite the Khushal uh, over there you can see the Khushal uh, plaza there the cash and carry sort of thing you'll see it there so we're opposite that on the left hand side so it's a good place actually food's fine uh, we'll see in a few moments anyway but I've got no issues I've got no complaints at the moment but I think they could speed up with the food I think the food takes do you know what I mean? I think they need to prepare someone of it. So then if it's fresh food, it's going to take a little bit of time to get to us. So what we're looking at now, let's have a look at the time now. So we're on about 12 minutes now. Now usually in Pakistan, you look at the food, you get the food usually in about 10 minutes. Very rare you wait more than 10 minutes, unless you're ordering a midday meal. If you're ordering a midday meal, then you're looking at realistically about 35 minutes. Now we go. We usually go down to uh, GT Road. We go down there. We eat there. Is that right, boss? Yeah. We, we we normally go down there. So when we have our meal over there, 
by the sea sort of thing. So normally when we go down, we normally, it takes, it's like an hour, an hour and a half sort of thing. And they've got a, they've got this sort of thing over there, little, their menus over there. So you can see. I think that's a good idea, but I think what they could have done was had that on a different wall. You know, had it on a, a couple of walls. The only thing that puts me off about pizzas in Pakistan is uh, the flour that they, I don't think they put yeast in it. I went to Pizza Hut and uh, theirs was okay, um, but it, it won't crispy. So we're going to see, hopefully, inshallah, uh, this may be a bit better. So we'll see, we'll see how it is, inshallah. And um, in terms of location finding, it's very easy to find. Um, it's on the main road, yeah. It's inbound, so you know, it's on the left as you come in. Now, guys, you know, earlier on I was telling you about uh, uh, access, yeah? So, you know, as we were coming in off the main door, they had a ramp on the side, and I've realised it is for uh, wheelchairs. So